Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am here at Maruti Suzuki next uh, showroom in Anandaka. So I would like to thank them for allowing me to be with the cars and you can check out the details of the Maruti Suzuki next uh, showroom in the description below. So big shout out to them. And today I have this the Maruti Suzuki Balino, so which has received a, so maybe you can say a second facelift or a generation change. I don't know how they term it. So they have gotten a lot of features, updates and even the engine update is there. So let's start with it. So you come to the front, you get this Suzuki logo and the chrome grille over here. And if you see here, you get these three bulbs here, denoting that it's a Nexa model. So all the Nexa models have these three bulbs at the front and at the rear. So LED headlights, chrome lining here as well. You get these fog lights as well, again chrome here. So a lot of chrome used on the car. So if you see on the side mirrors, you get a turn indicator and this car gets a 360 degree parking camera so yeah this is a good feature addition in this segment for adding a 360 degree camera and if you see the tire size the tire size is 195.55 r16s four lug nuts and the suzuki logo over here so you get front disc brakes and the alloy design is good so it's good yeah so if you talk about the length so it's a sub 4 meter car, so it's around 3990 mm and the wheelbase is 2520 mm. So you get this C shaped lights, so LED lights again. And here also, if you if you see the brake lights, it has three bulbs in it. Yeah, here it has three bulbs in it. So rear parking sensors and the reverse parking camera, also rear wiper as well. So opening the boot. So the boot is 318 liters and you get a partial shelf with three adjustable headrests. So that's a good point to note. So 318 liters, the loading clip is kind of on the higher side, but for the hatchback it's fine. And yeah, so the toolkit is there as well. So decently sized boot. And if you talk about the fuel tank capacity, it's around 37 liters and the mileage by area for the manual, it's around 22.35 km per liter. Go next to you do handle as well. So getting in isn't that easy that you expect since it is a short car it's a hatchback so obviously it is kind of on the difficult side but it's fine so legroom and legroom is if you see it's good because it's almost all the way back and i have like a bit of legroom and some legroom as well headroom is also good i have like a couple of inches more i'm six feet tall if we talk about the transmission tunnel, it's almost flat. So people will be comfortable and you get a VAC vents, twin USB C's as well, I believe. I, yeah. And as I mentioned, three adjustable headers, so that's a good feature to be added. And also you get a map light here. Yes. So if you talk about the safety, you get six airbags, ABS, EBD, ESC, traction control, brake assist and tire pressure monitoring system as well. Also one thing to know that 98% of my subscribers, or you can say 99% of my subscribers haven't subscribed to my channel. So obviously if you guys would be liking my content. So please do hit the subscribe button and definitely go into the world of cars, like where you'd be seeing new different types of cars starting from say, the very affordable car, the most expensive car in the world. So always open to it. So let's get back to the video. So this is how the dashboard looks. I think Maruti almost has the similar dashboard design for all the cars, like the all the upcoming cars. So if you see it on the Fongs or the Vitara or, or also on the Balena as well. So let's carry it forward it. So. So the front doors get the passive entry function as well, both the doors. So you get traction control button here, the intensity of the instrument clear. You also get the heads up display. So heads up display is also a first feature to be added, auto start stop system. So this is a steering wheel, a three spoke steering wheel with the audio controls and the call attending declining control, also with the cruise control as well. So if you see here, you get a driver armrest with some space some space over here as well a manual handbrake and a manual gearbox as well you have an option of a uh, automatic which is the amt twin cup holders here and yeah there is a 12 volt charging socket automatic climate control a 9 inch touch screen with wireless android auto and apple carplay so let's just switch on the ignition for that let me show you the key show the suzuki logo when you come in 
so this is the key you could lock and unlock so this is the top of the line variant so let me show you the cluster first so you can browse through the button over here your level is low please fill the tank immediately yeah okay so this shows the average the speed the clock the power and torque consumption accelerator and brake so yeah it's well loaded as well if we talk about this system this is also well loaded system so it shows the vehicle info and all of the stuff you have settings you have suzuki connected tech as well so you have display and quick guide security language display date and time pair device is connect so all of those things are there so yeah it's a good system to use also you have this wifi backup display settings pair devices so yeah you can also edit it so yeah good system slick to use and let me show you the glove box as well so this is the glove box big glove box so yeah it's a cool one so you get twin lights here as well and you yeah, you get a mirror and a light okay that's great so suzuki offering mirror and a light so even the cars expensive than the baleno or this segment you say they don't get the light function on the code ever said they give me on the driver side as well so that's a i mean it's a big thing to see suzuki offering those so yeah i mean the cabin is well loaded and to be honest the cab the door quality has improved it has added more weight more third so yes definitely they are working on safety as well offering six airbags too so let me just show you the engine bay So this is how the engine bay looks. So let me first show it to you and then I'll close it. So if you talk about the engine, so it's a 1.2 liter four cylinder engine, producing about 90 horsepower, 113 newton meters of torque, and uh, yeah, I mean they have this I think K12C or something. I'm not exactly sure which series it is. So K12C focuses. It has some dual injectors or something, which is more powerful and more fuel efficient as well. So before the output was on 82 horsepower, 83 horsepower. Now they have increased it to 90 horsepower. So overall, if we talk about the Baleno, definitely Baleno has been on sale over the years, and they also had a Baleno RS before with a 1 liter turbo petrol option, but they discontinued it due to various reasons. But now also in this uh, second phase lift or the new generation of the definitely a well loaded package also offering six airbags as a safety kit and uh, many more safety features as well also good feature like heads up display and 360 camera like i mean it's out of the world so definitely if you enjoy you can go for it and if you have any doubts you can comment on youtube comment and check dm in shagan i can help you connect with the dealers as well so thank you so much please do like share comment and subscribe and do let me know your views of the baleno and do check out the details of the uh, next show manana ka